we're here with another episode of What's Hot in Tucson Live, and we're with John Cornish. There's John and Rosemary in the background. We've got some really cool pieces from a new collection that they've acquired. So let's turn the camera around, take a look. All right, we've got a couple of pieces here that Rosemary and I would like to share. They're distinctive pieces that we've never seen offered on the market ourselves. So, and they're coming from the Helen Owens, Owens collection, collection that we acquired recently and are starting to process. Yeah, so a great example is this pseudomorph after a Reaganite that's replaced by Chalcedony. Uh, many people have seen these types of formations from Chihuahua, Mexico, from the Coyomito agate beds, but this is actually one that came from Texas. Wow. And it's something that Rosemary and I had never come across previous to this. It's beautiful material, uh, very attractive with that light pastel pinkish color that it has. And then we can see... Um, a little bit here, I apologize that this is not coming through, but you can really see the different layers of the agate that came on in and coated the oregonites and began that pseudomorphing process to where now we're only with a 100% chalcidity specimen here. Very so cool. something from Texas like this, we've just never seen before. Now another good example from Texas that again has just not been seen before is this beautiful calcite group. This is the Terlingua style calcite where it's going to be wildly fluorescent in long, medium, and short wave with a pronounced phosphorescence also. We've seen this in massive material quite often, but this was the first time that Rosemary and I have ever had the opportunity to handle crystals of this material. So very gemmy, yellow, golden colored. Go with ahead, cinnabar. Rosemary. With cinnabar inclusions on in it. Superb. Which, so just something we had just mm -hmm. never seen before. Uh, this is one of two specimens that we have from that find. And obviously from decades and decades ago, uh, we do have a, a little bit of a label here, uh, not as much documentation mm -hmm. as some of the other ones. But it's from the early 60s. So One yeah. dollar. One Look at dollar. that. Early 60s, folks. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit more now, yeah, but, um, yeah, but still well worth it. <laughs> yeah. And like everybody, we love Sumeb material. It's such a beautiful treasure chest of wonderful species. And this is actually a very common species that we had not seen a good example of. This is a Galena specimen from Sumeb. And this was something that Rosemary and I, as we were going through the collection, were startled to find because out of all the minerals from Sumeb, Galena was not our first hope to find within the collection but it comes with the old labels. It's very well documented in regards to the time period that it was produced. And as a Sumeb rarity, while a rather common mineral in some aspects, it's not one of the ones that you'll typically see offered from Sumeb. So all three of these specimens are really unique things that we have not seen on the market previous to this. And it's, it's great to be able to share. That is wonderful and I know that you have many more pieces from the collection that are not on exhibit that you're still processing. Mm -hmm. So we look forward to seeing more of it in 2024. Excellent. All right, take care everybody. Bye-bye.